Okay, first we'll just do a run through these buttons. This first button, if you keep clicking it, you can zoom by different types, UTMs, Latin Longs, NTS, and back to the uh, LSD. Here is a pin. You can drop the pin. And here's the information for that pin, everything that you need to know for that location. The other button will allow you to do things like route to here. You can even get the address. And the next, we can clear the pin. So now if we want to drop the pin again, we can also go to the menu uh, and save, not that menu, this menu down here, save the pins to a file and we'll just put in a file name that we want to call this okay that'll be good so we save it and that goes into our tracks here so we just open up this there's our pins there's a previous pin that I had there's our location uh, you can modify them by Clicking that, you can delete it, or you can do tracks and routes. You can check what you've got there. If you want to load it, you select it and then choose that. You can also set uh, save to GPX. Okay, so here's their pin again. You can move it around, and this up changes up there on the heading. You can see on the bottom here that we have our LSD and lat long and that changes by the center screen so that'll be wherever your center of the screen is is be be the uh, value of that so let's clear a pin the next pin is just to do track so if we want to start a track call it whatever we want and this message comes out at 10% uh, this is just an error message for the simulator so ignore that when your battery is at 10% then it will no longer track it will automatically turn off we can look at our track though, since it did save one. There's just one location there. Go back. Uh, the next button just changes the map view from um, the standard to just the map or just the satellite, but this is the, the default. And here you can see all the different types of maps you can load. So the red indicates that you cannot navigate in them. The green indicates there's a GPS or a world file with it. The default is just the Google Maps. These would be separate ones that you load externally. And in here we can go and convert our coordinate from one to another type. So here I'll just do a lot long and we'll convert it uh, to UTM. 10 TM. There's our value. Now you can also do the NAT83 value, but you need a GSB file. So if you don't have it, you need to download that file and put it in your iTunes uh, documents directory and then sync to your iPhone. Okay, and I think that's about it. We do have a scale bar here that shows you how uh, big that area is and it has it on the side too so if you zoom out you can see that that value is changing there and I think that's about all I have to show and if you have any more questions please feel free to write me in a note